the Zoom meeting, this uh, webinar on uh, YouTube also. So once again, a very warm and hearty welcome to you, dear friends, Honorable Principal Dr. As the chairperson of this webinar, this national webinar on communication skills to reach unreached. Today we find that we have not been able to reach the unreached. There are gaps, there are gaps in families, there are gaps in society, there are gaps between students and teachers, there are gaps between friends, and somewhere hopefully the communication skills will bridge the gap. And uh, considering this, we have organized this one day national on reach out to different people from different areas, different regions. We have Dr. Arvind Navle, sir, Associate Professor of English from Udh Latur, very renowned personality, and he will be introduced later. We have Dr. Sri Raju, sir, from Madurai, Tamil Nadu. And uh, we have Dr. Santosh Kumar Patil, sir, from Shahada district. And uh, we have our convener, Dr. Principal Dr. Vijay Bahiram, sir, who is also from a small village. So already we have been trying to reach the unreached. And through you, through this webinar, we'll reach more and more number of people. Even today we find that uh, there are many people who are deprived, who are away from the mainstream. And hence, it is our duty to reach, to bridge the gaps, to minimize the gaps. And through this webinar, through the deliberations in this webinar, I hope that will definitely succeed in reaching the unreached. A very warm and hearty welcome to Principal Dr. N.D. Choudhury, sir, NTVS Law College, uh, Nandurbar. And once again, I welcome you all. And now I request our very active encouraging people, Professor Dr. Vijay Bhairam, sir, to deliver the introductory address. Over to you, sir. Namaskar. I welcome all the dignitary all in this national online webinar on communication skill to reach the unrich. Honorable Dr. B. U. Akumar Reddy, sir, Associate Dean, KBC North Maharashtra University, Jalgao. Dr. Arvind Navle, sir, Gir Latur. Dr. C. Raju, sir, from Madurai. Dr. Santosh Patil, sir, Shahada Nandurbar. The NTVS Law College Principal, Honorable Dr. N. D. Choudhury, sir, all the principals of respective colleges from the North Maharashtra University region, Jalgao, the all faculty members of faculty in law, KBC, North Maharashtra University, Jalgao, all the dignitaries who have joined this online platform, all the participants, our young and dynamic coordinator, Dr. Vaibhav Sabni, sir, and dear participants. Today, it will be a great opportunity for we all to learn something new in the field of communication skill. Communication is really necessary for the development of everything. So communication has, communication skill has its own importance in everyone's life. By organizing such national online webinars and to reach the unreached, we are trying to celebrate our Vesh Khandesh Dalit Shikshan Prasarak Mandal's Diamond Jubilee Year. Vesh Khandesh Dalit Shikshan Prasarak Mandal, which was established because of the guidance of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar to Buddhavasi Educate Rao Sahib Ji Nile, who have established Vesh Khandesh Dalit Shikshan Prasarak Mandal. And this year, that Vesh Khandesh Dalit Shikshan Prasarak Mandal is enjoying, celebrating the Golden Jubilee year. So we have organized number of online webinars because in such a pandemic situation, uh, direct offline programs could not be organized. So by with the help of online platforms, we want to reach everyone. So our institution, which have the motive and object to reach to the downtrodden, to reach to the poor man, to reach to the needy people. Uh, Buddha was advocate Rao Sahib Ji Nile have intentionally established law college in Dhuli city because the rural area, the villagers, the, the rural area students may, may not uh, may, may not have any uh, opportunity 
they did not have any opportunity to reach pune and mumbai for getting law education so having law education in dhule was one of the opportunity which was given by buddhas educate also in dhule by establishing uh baba sahib ambedkar memorial college of law in dhule city so reaching to the needy people reaching to the unrich is the primary object uh, before vesh khande the electrician prasarak mandal the institution the doctor uh, vesh khande the electrician prasarak mandal after establishing dr baba sahib ambedkar law college here in dhule in the year 1975 have given number of judges eminent lawyers in legal profession so uh, reaching to everyone reaching to the needy is one of the prime fsc motto before our institution the national webinar on communication skill is really necessary because we are cultivating the minds of professionals in law field legal profession is a very meaningful profession because giving justice making justice with the persons who are facing injustice is one of the prime of his motto is one of the object in legal profession so when we are uh, teaching to the legal professionals communication skill is very necessary because convincing a judge is really required in legal profession the judge is also a law graduate honorable lawyers were also with the law graduates but still how a particular law is not applicable to the client either it may be applicable or it may not be applicable as the case may be is to be convinced before a judge in legal profession so communication is very necessary we uttered how many words in a day we never count how many words we utter in a day we never count and if we estimated the same then we will understood that how communication will be effective so if we curtail 50% of uttering the words on next day so i don't want to say you that you curtail your thoughts so i am not saying trying to say to curtail your thoughts but if you curtail 50% of your words still your 100% thoughts will be communicated and you will save your energy so uttering the minimum words with effective will be required for effective communication and that will really necessary communication skill so uttering with minimum words with effective communication is will be taught will be taught to you all in this online webinar all research persons were profound in their knowledge and so uh, as communication skill is also necessary for profound knowledge in any field so this online national webinar will give you the better opportunity so i wish all the best to all the participants and with these minimum words i will uh, sum up here thanks a lot good day thank you jai hind jai bharat thank you very much sir thank you very much for the introductory speech uh, the participants could know who we are how our organization is and how for so many years we have been trying to reach the unriched through legal education and dear friends i am very proud to say that many of our students have become judges very renowned lawyers professors etc two of uh, three of uh, our students have become professors assistant professors in our college itself so that's a great achievement trying to reach the unriched and through deliberations in today's webinar we'll definitely succeed in reaching out to more and more students and uh, this is uh, a very uh, inauguration now honorable minister is the chairperson and also the uh, so here is the symbolic word you know you now uh, as our motto is to reach the unreached uh, we are trying to encourage our students from rural areas and one of our students from rural areas is mr naresh badane who has just passed his 12 some months ago and 
he is going to introduce today's guest. So we are not just on paper or preaching, but in practice, we are trying to reach the unreached. Over to Naresh Badane, our student from rural area from Shinkhara Dabka, Good morning, respected sir and all participants. It's an honor for me to introduce Honorable Dr. Arvind Manikram Novelist, sir. Sir is the one of the resource person of this webinar. Honorable sir is an associate professor and head of the department of English, Shivaji Mahavidyala district Latur, Maharashtra. Sir has more than 10 year experience as the NCC commissioned or Koi commander. Sir has been working more than 15 years as the head of the department of English. He, he is a former coordinator of NAAC steering committee and AQAC. He has published 45 books, including co-authored, co-edited textbooks, edited critical books, and anthology. Near about 30 books subscribed worldwide. Honorable Sir has a member of various committees at university and national level. Honorable Sir has completed one UGC sponsored minor research project in English. He has published 26 research papers and 22 chapters in books at national and international level. Honorable Sir has given his contribution to curriculum development. He is a delivered number of lectures at national and international level. Honorable Sir he is a postgraduate teacher and PhD research supervisor. Ten students have been awarded PhD under Sir's guidance and five students are working under him. Sir is a friend of our Dr. Webo Sabni Sir. Thanks, sir. Thank you, Naresh. The rural areas are battling with network issues and so many other issues. But Naresh, you can see his background and all. Even his uh, financial, social background, economic background is not very sound. But uh, if you tell him any time, he will introduce Navle, sir, very fluently. Uh, that is also because of Navle, sir. Sir, here is a virtual welcome to you. Just a second, dear friends. We have got PDF books and virtual book is now in this pandemic. Just few seconds, please. Thank you, sir. Now, on behalf of all of you, I request uh, a very, very uh, dynamic personality, uh, Dr. Nauli, sir. There is some technical issue on my side. Uh, Co-host Honorable Bahiram, sir. Please um, stop my sharing. Over to Navale, sir, please. I hope I'm properly visible and audible also. Uh, yes, sir, yes. Honorable dignitaries, Honorable Dada Sahib Jinele, Chairman of West Khandes Dalit Section, Pasarak Mandal Dhule, the dignities on the dais, Dr. Vijayji Bhairam, Chairperson of this national event and principal of Dr. Babasib Ambedkar Memorial College of Law Dhule. The resource person of second session and a good friend of mine since uh, two decades, Dr. C. Raju, associate professor and head department of English, Yaduva College, Madurai, Tamil Nadu. Dr. Santosh Patil Shahada, Principal Dr. Reddy, sir, Principal Dr. Choudhury, sir. The young, enthusiastic, and uh, dynamic coordinator of this national webinar on communication skills. And my good friend, Dr. Vaibhav Sabnis, Head Department of English, Dr. Babasab Ambedkar Memorial College of Law, Dhule. And participant 
teachers and students who are accessing this event through Zoom as well as YouTube Live. A very good morning to one and all. I feel privileged to be part of this national webinar on communication skills for reaching the unreached organized by Dr. Babasa Bambadikandur College of Law Dhule on occasion of Diamond Jubilee celebration of their management and institution. I'm very happy to be part of this because I came to know that, uh, and I have witnessed the now also, that this institution has a different footing, rural footing, and their motto is to reach to the unreached, to empower the masses from the rural background. That's why I'm, I'm feeling very happy. Friends, communication is in any language, communication in any language is an integral to human civilization. From business to politics, from education to everyday life, a successful linguistic communication is crucial for all our daily interactions. However, as the webinar is organized by the Department of English and I also belongs to the English fraternity, I would like to talk with special reference to communication in English. It is without a doubt true that English is the most widely spoken language on the planet. English is the world's third most popular language after Mandarin and Spanish in terms of native speakers. But it is unquestionably the most essential language of, for worldwide communication. It is spoken as the first language by about 350 million people worldwide. However, as stated by linguist David Kistel, the number of non-native English speakers is three times higher than the number of native English speakers. This language is spoken by almost 1.5 billion people as their first, second, or the third language. When we compare this figure to the global population, we can see that one out of every four individuals speak English in some form or another, either as a first or the second or the third language. The enormous growth of English language speaking populace made it the language of world communication or the global language. In every sector, whatever it may be, English has become the language of success, a passport to higher education, business, profession, networking, and upward mobility. It plays a significant role in educational sector too. In almost all the premier, premier universities, colleges, schools, and other academic institutions of the world, English is considered as one or one of the mediums of the instructions. Maximum number of academic journals in the discipline of humanities, science, and commerce, and also the rest, are published either in English or bilingually, where English is one of the languages. Hence, it is a key language of academic activities and collaboration globally. It is the language of trade, it is the language of IT, it is the language of space, it is the language of commerce, it is the language of science. It is a dream language, it is a clean language. Majority of journals, Approximately 80% of content on world web, top films, top music albums, top literature we see is in English. World's top broadcasting companies, including BBC, are transmitting to the world in English. Infusion of English in cyberspace, in the business world, tourism can easily be understood. 
but we lack a good knowledge of english and here you will get an answer to why this college the honorable principal bairav sir and uh, dr vaibhav sabnis has organized this seminar and probably the answer would be that to discuss the same to find out remedies to fill uh, this gap as uh, in introduction said by dr vaibhav or to empower students those students students from the rural background to meet and face the global competitors and to reach to unreached uh, and even to reach and attain unreached goals to make our career and dream reachable as only those who have a command a good command in communication skills are given a good job opportunity and had has a good fortune now let us see what is communication friends all living things have an instinct to communicate there are natural instincts communication may be defined as any exchange of information between two or more persons we rely on effective communication every day to get through life every encounter we have with a, another person is a kind of communication even from a raised eyebrow in a crowded checkout line to a simple wave to your family part of the communication a good communication is more than just the flow of data from one entity to another entity it is a skill that entails first hearing or reading information then absorbing processing and transmitting it communication requires a significant amount of work some of the most significant components of communications are gestures that you may observe me tone of voice your body language movement and spoken language the procedure will fail if the other person is unable to grasp any of these elements now we have to think on why we communicate and obvious answer is we communicate to share share our ideas and opinions with other to provide feedbacks to other to get information from other to gain power and influence to develop social relationships and interactions to maintain self expression and our culture and other ideas you may have thought of and so on there are four types of communication through which we communicate that is verbal communication this is the most common mode of communication that most of us employ on daily basis it aids in expression of ideas feeling and sentiments a phone call or a discussion with a friend a public statement or a speech are all examples of verbal communication it comes naturally to the majority of us as we grow older we develop and begin to grasp the language which allows us to speak vocally the second non verbal communication it is any kind of communication that does not include the use of words or noise gestures body language facial expression eye contact attire tone of voice and other indications and signals and signs are used in non verbal communication to communicate a message it may be compared to a spice in our daily dishes that we used to attest third one written communication which is a kind of communication in which the sender's message is delivered through written words it includes letters emails reports articles or memos this type of communication also incorporates elements of visual communication particularly when communication are delivered by electric devices like computers sms and visual presentation that includes text or words and fourth is the visual communication the it is the visual presentation of information is used in this type of communication and the message 
is comprehended or communicated through visual aids like photographs, signs, symbols, maps, colors, posters, banners, designs, and so on. And what are the four basic fundamental skills that require everyone to master for a good communication or to be a good communicator? Obviously, listening, first is listening, on which we spend approximately, as for the different studies are concerned, the approximate overall time we spend is the 45% time we spend. The, and the second, the speaking skill, on which we approximately spend 30% of the time. Third, the reading skill, on we spend approximately 60% of writing, on which we spend 9% time. Before proceeding further, let us see four short video of a very few seconds, which will clear some of the essential things of the topic and I am sharing it. Okay, double click on my computer. I can see your computer. No, no. Click on my computer on your computer. How can I click on your computer from my computer? There is an icon labeled my computer on your computer. Double click it. What the hell? What is your computer doing on my computer? Double click on your computer. Which icon do I have to click? My computer. Tell me where do you live? I go to your house to click on your computer. Oh my God. Okay, this video tells us a lot. The miscommunication means the delivery is also important as well as comprehension. Means proper speaking, proper pronunciation, proper content as well as proper listening is also required to make a communication successful. Now I would like to uh, show you two videos. I think that most of you are acquainted with those videos and we will discuss the things therein. This is from the then Central Railway Minister and you will, this is a self-explanation. I will, I will try to uh, translate myself in English business. Ah, I'm a Hindi. 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 I'm a I have done a tremendous work. Each and every year, I have unfrozen and froze every day. And they are saying, uh, I have, Lalu Jado has planted a fruit tree. And every year, uh, it is guilty of mine to uh, grow fruit tree. Now the last uh, video and then we will discuss on this video as then we go to further. You are excited. Swami Vive Kamunan Suchin Tendulkar to Virat Kohli. Months ago, the United States welcomed your great prime minister at a giant football stadium in Texas. And today, India welcomes us at the world's largest cricket stadium right here in Ababad. The life of Prime Minister Modi underscores the limitless promise of this great nation. He started out by his father's side as a chihuahua, a tea seller.
Prime Minister Modi, you are not just the pride of Gujarat, as the great religious teacher Swami Vive Kamunand once said. Some of the world's greatest cricket players, from Suchin Tendulkar to Virat Kohli. You are making impressive strides with your exciting Chandrayaan Lunar Program. I hope uh, I would like to interact with students uh, on these uh, videos, three videos. If anybody is uh, desirous, uh, may unmute and uh, uh, may put here uh, before me what you understood by these three videos. If any student is uh, desirous to interact, I will be very happy. What you understood by these three videos? Is anybody volunteer? A student or any teacher participants? What you came to know through these three videos? The first video and the second and the third. That is the core of our topic. One who, who has introduced me, is he ready? Yes, please. The student who has introduced me or any another student, unmute and speak what you understand through these three videos. It would be very nice uh, if uh, you interact. It would be interactive session. When he's chatting, instead of chat in texting, uh, instead of texting in chat box, Unmute me, yes. Okay. Dr. Vaibhav, unmute Kumar Aminesh. Yes, sir. Kumar Aminesh, unmute. And Pathan WW, WM, LLB. Third. Unmute these two students. They are desirous to talk. Yes, Mr. Kumar, you can speak now. Good morning, respected. Good morning, respected sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. The in the three in the three videos we saw that uh, uh, one by one I will tell about the yes, three videos. Nice. The first video, the first video we came to know yeah. that the two person were talking to each other, but due to the lack of the skill to deliver his thoughts. Yes. Through the right words was not matching with the two persons. Yeah. Exactly like uh, that person was saying to do the process, the procedure for doing my computer and your computer, and the next person yeah. was it himself confused in the words. Uh, so are, maybe which are, which are the two elements important? Speaking yes, as sir. well as listening is also important. Listening to make yes, the sir. communication proper and good. Okay. Yes, what, what you learned sir. from the third and uh, second and third video? In the second video, actually, the uh, the uh, the, the honourable uh, uh, Lalu Yadav ji was trying to communicate through his uh, native language, which can, could be said Hindi, but the others were want uh, uh, um, others were uh, asking him to deliver his speech into English. So he tried to trans. Uh, first of all, he delivered his all speech in Hindi, but later on he tried to translate it in English, but it was not. Uh, a good communicative English because uh, it lacked the the verbs, the main uh, elements which yes. are required to yes. communicate. Yeah, there, it lacks grammar also. Yes, sir. and it lacks a good knowledge of English. And the pronunciation uh, the, the was also not up to mark. Yes. Sir. Yeah. What you learned from the third video? Th third video is uh, America or uh, the British English and the American English both are different and American uh, English are uh, I mean they are also called uh, uh, understood that they have great powers to speak English and very fluent English but 
when it came to the context of indian english uh, when he was using the uh, uh, identifiable names uh, he just uh, um wrote, uh, twisted or world his uh, 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 words which was not uh, approxim uh, which was not exactly the yes. Miss Miss pronunciation also matter. Pronunciation was uh, lacking. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, above all, now uh, uh, above all, the average uh, your opinion about uh, on the three uh, three videos, Miss. What if you uh, uh, you have not adequate communication skill? What problem we uh, we are supposed to face? Miss. Uh, suppose one is central uh, minister, central cabinet minister, but he faced the the what you call the embarrassment there. Okay. Right. even the knowledge of uh, good pronunciation and even uh, the skill to uh, talk speak properly and listen properly me otherwise what will happen that will uh, that will be an obstacle in our progress right okay uh, i i think that i got all all the answer that's why there is no need uh, to uh, uh, interact with in another but if you voluntary come i will entertain okay then uh, now uh why now i would like to give priority to explore the speaking skill more than the writing and uh, the reading and all that things here uh, what are the why we speak and what are the uh, basic speaking skills uh, what are the essential therein that is ability to through this video you must understand the ability to convey one's messages or information verbally in a proper and suitable manner is very important all the three videos we will find this that answer they were not having adequate skill or the ability to convey one's message or information verbally in a proper and suitable manner right then ability to express oneself clearly in front of others how do look the whole stadium the largest stadium he has mentioned up the word and it was full of the audience but he has not ability to express himself clearly in front of others then ability to express one's ideas feelings and thoughts in the first video we see that his speaking but the at the other end the another person was not able to understand there is no clarity clarity of thought or the ideas and feeling and ability to give one's opinion in different manner these are the uh, fundamental uh, elements of this speaking and uh, above all another the elements that is uh, the fluency is very important vocabulary is important grammar is important pronunciations are important fluency is about how comfortable and confident you are in speaking if you can speak for an extended period of time that is an indicator of strong fluency it is also about showing a clear connection between each point that you are trying to make this skill means that the listener can follow what you are saying and does not get lost of vocabulary of course if you don't have the words to say that you want to say then you cannot say it that he said i am translating myself he failed to get the proper word sapli in there etc miss there should be we should have to use proper words in proper place and that require a good vocabulary the more interesting words you know the stronger your speaking skill the best way to grow your vocabulary is to read in english and make a note of any new word that you encounter in a vocabulary notebook the grammar grammar does matter and the fewer mistakes you make the better your speaking skill will be how you are do not worry about making mistakes either a good speaker does not have to use perfect grammar certainly though it is a good idea to make sure that you have mastered the major tenses that is also adequate many science teachers professors they lack some grammatical skills but they are very good communicators and pronunciation pronunciation is a complex idea which with a lot of sub skills that can be practiced the basic rule of thumb is that an average speaker can speak and be understood a skilled speaker can use the sub skills of pronunciation to emphasize and make the communicative effects of their speech more impactful 
the sub skills of pronunciation include word and sentence stress intonation rhyme and the use of individual sounds of the language a good way to practice your pronunciation is to copy to imitate simply listen to how some one with good pronunciation speaks and try to imitate them as closely as possible but there are many reasons why our interpersonal communication fail in many communications the message may not be received exactly the way the sender intended there exist many barriers to communication and these may occur at any stage in the process of the communication as we see in the first video and these barriers may lead to your messages being distorted what are the, some of the common barriers in effective communication and these are first the language barriers uh, as we see in the third video clearly language and linguistic ability may act as a barrier in communication how you are even when communicating in the same language the terminology used in a message may act as a barrier if it is not fully understood by the receivers as we see that the american president president of usa he was unable there is no problem in, in the grammar problem of uh, the pronunciation can't speak uh, gujarat or uh, suchin tendulkar or uh, kohli instead of kohli or the chuda you can't pronounce it okay vivekananda etc for example a message that includes a lot of special jargon and abbreviation will not be understood by a receiver who is not familiar with the terminology used all as no says we are especially prone to make this mistake in every field these errors are obvious we must remember to use language that can be understood by the receiver then one more factor is the psychological barriers the psychological state of the receiver will influence how the message is received for example if someone has personal worries and is in stress then he or she may be preoccupied with personal concerns and may not as a good receptive to the messages as one meant to stress management is an important personal skill that affects our interpersonal relationships and as well as communications anger is another example of a psychological barrier to communication liking suppose you have a good uh, liking for a teacher uh, you will be communicated uh, more easily uh, than the other teachers delivery and so on then physical barriers an example of a physical barrier to communication is a uh, distance geographical distance between the sender and the receiver if there is a class of 100 and you are at the back bench you will not be able to receive and comprehend the message properly as uh, by the first bencher communication is generally easier even shorter distance as more communication channels are available and less technology is required although modern technology often refers to reduce the impact of physical barriers the advantages and disadvantages of each communication channel should be understood so that an appropriate channel can be used to overcome the physical barriers appropriate distance should be maintained there attitudinal barriers are there that behaviors or the pre occupation or the perceptions that prevent people from communicating effectively attitudinal barriers to communicate may result from personal complex personal estimation poor management resistance to change or lack of motivation effective receivers of message should attempt to overcome their own attitudinal barriers to facilitate effective communication a skilled communicator must be aware of this barrier and try to reduce their impact by continually checking understanding and by offering appropriate feedback 
and we must have to overcome over the banners, such barriers. Most of the barriers that mentioned here by me can be overcome by the skilled communicator, obviously bridging gaps in distance and communicating through disabilities a topic for a different discussion, but uh, below, uh, but uh, uh, some of the uh, um, things that uh, through which we can overcome the barriers that uh, I can do here. That is active listening. Active listening is a skill that can be acquired and developed with practice. However, this skill, this skill can be difficult to master and will therefore take time and patience. Active listening means, as its name suggests, actively listening. That is fully concentrating on what is being said rather than just hearing. There is a difference between hearing and listening, remember. Active listening involves listening with all senses, as well as giving full attention to the speaker. It's important that the active listener is also seen to be listening, otherwise the speaker may conclude that what they are talking about is uninteresting to the listener. By providing this feedback, the person speaking will usually feel more at ease and therefore communicate more easily, openly and honestly. There are both verbal and non-verbal cues that convey active listening. Non-verbal signs include smiling, making eye contact, nodding at the appropriate time and avoiding distractions. These non-verbal cues convey the message that you are interested in what the speaker has to say. And that your attention is fully invested. Offering verbal signs of active listening can also be useful. Reflecting on something the speaker has said by asking a clarifying question is a very good way to do this. Paraphrasing also involves finding slightly different words to repeat the main idea of the speaker and is also a great way to show active listening. And we are supposed to use a simple, simple language. Our renowned Irish poet W. Beard says, think like a wise man, but communicate in the language of the people. You should not Use the complicated words. If your purpose is to delivery of the message, use proper words which can deliver the message properly and which can deliver the message to multitudes. That's why simple and proper language use is also important. It is, also, it is important to remember that audience that you are speaking to and use language that can be easily understood and fit for them. Avoid using different terminology or jargon when speaking to others. People are often intimidated by such language and can be afraid to admit that they don't understand the message being delivered. An important tool to use when speaking is to pause occasionally and ask questions to ensure that your message is being understood as intended. You may also allow the listener to ask questions to clarify any point. How to overcome or how to improve? Please. I recommend students that go on watching English news on TV listen properly, read audio books, listen to some English songs also, practice of good pronunciations, join the conversations with groups and the friends, remove awkwardness from you, this will help, these things will help you. I think that uh, uh, I have crossed the time, that's why I would like to sum up and uh, uh, put uh, uh, the things in the nutshell. 
Friends, as living beings, we need to express and understand the expressions of others. Like it or not, human society thrives on communication. Civilizations have risen and fallen based upon how good they were at maintaining sound relations with the rest of the world through communication. Communication is indeed the very lubricant that makes the machinery of human relations function smoothly. Therefore, the significance of communication, good communication, cannot and should not be underestimated. Sometimes difficult situations in life can be resolved by just sitting down and talking it out. That is through good communication. Similarly, most personal, professional, and social the sector can be averted by maintaining a clear, appropriate, and ambiguous and a good and standard communication. All we need is some efforts on our part to identify and avoid barriers to effective communication to make our lives and the lives of those around us better. And this is what uh, I had to say because it was very difficult to put this topic uh, within the time span of 40 minutes and uh, I am I took uh, 10 minutes more. Thank you. Thanks uh, Dr. Vaibhav sir and Honorable Principal sir for inviting me and uh, giving me an opportunity to interact with your students and to be part of this wonderful uh, event. Thank you. Thank you so much sir for a very splendid wonderful speech. And uh, we're observing time in non-verbal communication. We talk about phonemics. We talk about punctual, punctuality. And this is where our schedule says 10 o'clock and 50 minutes and you are finished at 10 o'clock and 50 minutes. That's really wonderful, remarkable. So uh, thank you very much. I, I'm sure our participants must have enjoyed. Uh, we did enjoy the videos that you shared. Three different kinds of videos, three, four. Really wonderful. Thank you. And uh, dear participants, I must mention one thing which I wanted to say in the beginning of his speech before he delivered the speech that during Corona period, Dr. Naule lost three to four family members, brothers, uh, parents, etc. So uh, I didn't want to mention, but uh, through this uh, platform, my hearty condolences, my heartfelt condolences to his family still he has remained very strong and uh, through his speech you can see that there are no glimpses of this sorrow, of this grief because the mountain of sorrow before fell on him. Uh, still uh, he's so strong and uh, he's uh, giving that message for us to be strong. Still he's communicating so well and reaching the unreached because of communication gaps we don't become successful in life and then when we become successful there are some tragedies, there are some events, incidents, when uh, we go back, when we uh, get unsettled in life. But uh, my heartfelt condolences to the members of his family